Two candles have different lengths and they burn at different rates. The long one takes four hours to burn completely. The short one takes six hours to burn completely. The two candles were lit at the same time and after burning for two hours the two candles ended up having the same height. Originally the height of the long candle was how many times as long as the height of the short candle. This is a challenging problem. I'm going to solve this problem algebraically. I would encourage you to solve the problem on your own, but in case you cannot solve it, feel free to watch the video and make sure the question is handy because you, we will be referring to the question off and on. A couple of things that people wonder, how could the longer candle take a um, shorter period of time to burn? For a variety of reasons it could happen. One of the reasons could be maybe the longer candle is thinner, there is less wax in the longer candle than there is in the shorter one. The other other reason could be that the maybe, maybe the longer candle is made out of one type of material and the shorter candle is made made out of another kind of material. For instance, one could be wax, one could be soy. So it can happen. There is nothing wrong with the question. So let's um, get over that part. So since we're going to solve this problem algebraically, we have to define our variables. And I'm going to assume the original length of the shorter candle is x units. And the original length of the longer candle is y units and of course y is the length of the longer candle y is the length of the longer candle and x is the length of the shorter candle clearly y is larger than x okay every hour the longer candle loses one fourth of its length therefore after two hours the longer candle will be y over two units long you really have to understand this statement. We did assume that the longer, the original length of the longer candle was y units. So, let's draw the original, let's draw the longer candle. Let's say this was the original length of the longer candle. This whole length is y units okay we do know that the longer candle takes four hours to burn it takes four hours to burn I'm gonna write here in parenthesis and this comes from the question it it takes four hours to burn completely okay now if the longer candle takes four hours to burn completely, let's split the longer candle into four equal parts. Two equal parts. I'm estimating the length so it won't look perfect. So here is the longer candle y units long. This is one fourth. Every hour the longer candle loses a fourth of its length. After two hours, because we are comparing the two candles after two hours, that's where two is coming from. After two hours, the, this is half. One fourth plus one fourth is two fourths and two fourths is half. So this is half. And if this is half, this has to be half. So we are claiming after two hours the longer candle is only y over two units long. So this is gone in the first hour, this goes away. In the second hour this goes away and this is what we are left with after two hours and if the original length of the longer candle was y units, after two hours the longer candle is only y over two units long. 
and you absolutely want to get this and by the way I do understand that candles when they're burnt they're standing vertically but I needed the room that's why I drew the candle horizontally we established this on the previous slide now we're going to talk about this every hour the shorter candle loses one-sixth of its length therefore after two hours the shorter candle will be 2x over three units long why is this so so let's go ahead and and write down a couple of things it the shorter candle it takes six hours to burn completely okay the shorter candle takes six hours to burn completely so let's draw our shorter candle here okay so if it takes six hours to burn completely I'm gonna cut it up into six equal parts again I'm estimating the lengths of the parts so they won't look perfect but they're supposed to be equal one-sixth 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 so every hour we lose this let's write a few of these here one-sixth of the shorter candle 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 and the last one sixth of the shorter candle. Now, if the shorter candle takes six hours to burn completely, after two hours, why do we care about two hours? Because we are comparing the two candles after two hours. After two hours, this will be gone. This much will be gone. And one sixth plus one sixth is two sixths or one third and from the whole candle if you subtract one third you're gonna be left with two thirds so the shorter candle will be two thirds of its original length after two hours and the original length of the shorter candle was X so after two hours the shorter candle will be 2x over 3 units long. Now you have to get those two facts. Okay, so according to the question, after 2 hours, the two candles were the same length. And based on that fact, we can, we can construct our equation, which will be y over 2, the length of the longer candle after 2 hours, must equal the length of the shorter candle after two hours because that's what the question says so that's how I'm gonna set up my equation on the next slide so here's my equation y over 2 is equal to 2x over 3 and now all I need to do is solve this equation for y over x let's explain to you why we are doing that however you want to understand that the equation doesn't allow us to find the value of y or x individually but we can find y over x and why do we need to find y over x because the question says uh, the, f the final part of the question if you go back and read the question it says that find uh, the longer candle was how many times as long as the shorter candle the original length of the longer candle was how many times as long as the original length of the shorter candle and that simply means find y over x this is our equation from the previous slide and I am gonna solve it I am gonna try to convert the denominators into one so that I don't have any denominators in a way I multiply both sides of this original equation by 2 
to eliminate this 2 and I get y is equal to 2 times 2 is 4x over 3. I multiply both sides by 3, I get 3y is equal to 4x. Since I'm looking for y over x, I divide both sides by x and here I am. And finally, I divide both sides by 3 to isolate y over x and I get y over x is equal to 4 over 3 or 1 and 1 third or 1.333. So that allows me to conclude that the original height of the longer candle was one and a third times as long as the original height of the shorter candle. This is my answer.